constructing an auxiliary elevation. Now, any view that is other than the principal view would be an auxiliary view. So, for instance, we have our principal views here, which will be the plan and the front. Another principal view would be an end if we wanted the end view. But we are looking at our plan at an angle other than the 90 degrees of our principal view. So if we look at our plan at 90 degrees, we will get the elevation. And vice versa, if we look at the elevation at 90 degrees from on top, we will get the plan. For auxiliary elevations, we are looking at the plan at an angle. In this case, we are using an angle of 45 degrees. So, we're going to show how to construct this auxiliary elevation. The first thing to note, it is still an elevation. That means that the measurement of height would still be relevant. So, this elevation is 50 high by 20 by 30. So, let's see how we can get started. Now, our heights are measured from this x y line here and since we are drawing it at an angle of 45 degrees we will have a x1 y1 line at 45 degrees this represents our x y line for the auxiliary elevation so we have a height of 50 a height of 30 a height of 20. so we're going to use offset and we're going to offset those distances. It's asking for a distance. I'm going to put in 50. Right. And next, I'm going to offset again. This time, 30. So, those are our heights for our elevation. Next, I'm going to draw this front face here. Which will be this face here. This is how it looks in the elevation. Now, let's see how it looks in the auxiliary elevation. Now, the points for this front face is going to be these lines here, which represent this face here. So, I'm going to go to a construction line, and I'm going to pull these elevations at 90 degrees to our XY line. So our heights, make sure you get the 90 degree snap. I'm using enter, enter to repeat the light command. Right, so this, these lines represent this piece here. And let's look at the height. So from this point here, this height is 30, so let me go to the outline. So at this point, it's 30, and if you notice, it's coming across to that point, then it goes up 20, which will give us the 50, then it comes across. Now, what we could notice is that for the auxiliary elevation, you have the basic shape there, this kind of step shape. But if you notice, the length of it is distorted, but the height remains the same. So let's see if we can pull some other views here, some other parts of it. Now, because we are looking at the angle, we are able to see more than one face at a time. So, in this case here, we could see this back face here. Let's get a 90 degree snap. And that back face here would just be a rectangle. So if I draw that in now. And that's going to be the back face. You also have two points that we didn't pull. Now in our line of sight, these are not going to be seen. 
So for that, we would use a hidden line for objects that we know that are there but cannot be seen. We're going to use a hidden line. So I'm using a construction line, first of all, of a different color, just so that we don't get confused. And I'm going to use a hidden line. Now, this hidden point here also comes from, it's going to have the same height here of two tape units, but it's behind. So where it comes from, it's going to be here. It goes up to the tape and it comes across and goes up 20. So here we have it, auxiliary elevation of a step block angled at 45 degrees.